After a labiaplasty, it's important that you take it easy and minimize your blood pressure. In other words, try not to be in too much pain or be too anxious. Try and relax and keep your blood pressure controlled. You should urinate like normal. Um, you, can, you can poop and defecate like normal. There's really um, nothing you need to do other than shower after you poop to minimize the amount of bacteria present in that area. You can shower right away after the procedure. I want you to keep that area clean and moist. So uh, I don't really want you taking a bath or going underwater for three weeks, but right away, the day of the procedure, you can shower if you want to. How you'll do that is you'll gently wash the area with soap and water, no rubbing. What I recommend is getting a biker water bottle and filling it up with warm soapy water and then using the squirt function of that water bottle to sort of squirt the area clean. That way you're able to wash it with soapy water without having to rub it or scrub it. Because rubbing and scrubbing can tear the tissue and tear the sutures because everything is very fragile initially. The other thing to do is apply bacitracin ointment, nothing with neosporin. If the incisions seem somewhat dry, apply bacitracin to keep it moist. If you have a lot of vaginal discharge following the operation, which is very common, then you're gonna wanna air out the area to keep it from being too moist. I recommend that you hang around your house or your apartment with no pants on, wear like an oversized t-shirt so the area gets lots of air if it tends to be too moist. And if you need to, you can take a blow dryer on cool setting and air out the area if you have too much moisture. Another thing you can do to minimize the amount of bruising and swelling is ice the area. But make sure you use an ice pack that will either melt quickly or you set a timer because I don't want you to give yourself frostbite because initially the area will be numb from the numbing medicine and you won't know if the area is too cold from the ice packs. If you feel up to it, you can exercise after one week. Now, don't ride a bike or ride a horse or anything that puts pressure in your perineum in the area where we did surgery. So I would recommend if you feel like exercising and if you feel up to it, finding an exercise that doesn't irritate that area or put pressure on it. The last couple of things I wanna mention are that you need to wait two months before you have sexual intercourse and you need to wait two months before you use tampons again. In other words, I need you to use maxi pads and nothing goes in your vagina for two months because we need those fragile tissues to heal and get strong before they um, have any shear forces against them. Another common question patients have is, can I have a labiaplasty when I'm on my period? The answer is yes, you can. Um, being on your period or on your cycle does not affect your external genitalia or your ability to have a labiaplasty. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.